Question number eight says, five moles of gas initially at a pressure of two atmospheres and a volume of 0 0.3 liters has internal energy equal to 82 joules. In its final state, the gas is at a pressure of 1.5 atmospheres and a volume of 0 0.8 liters and its internal energy equals 168 joules. A. Four paths I, A, F, I, B, F, and I, F, in the figure above, calculate the work done on the gas. And part B, for the paths I, A, F, I, B, F, and I, F, in the figure above, calculate the net energy transferred to the gas by heat in the process. The first part of this is just to calculate the work done. And we know that in all cases, the work is going to be equal to the area, the area under the PV diagram, under the PV curve. So in this, uh, in this particular graph, our PV curve is, is so for the first part, we, we need to do IAF. So it's the area under this curve. So uh, because this is a vertical line, there is, there is no area under it until we get to point A. So we're actually measuring the area under AF. For the work done, the area under AF is going to equal the, the final pressure multiplied by the change of volume. But before we can do anything meaningful out of this, we have to set up um, we have to set up all of our conversions because we're given all of our our pressures in atmospheres and we're given all our volumes in liters and really in order to calculate joules we need to have our volumes in cubic meters and our pressures in pascals so if the initial pressure is equal to two atmospheres we can multiply that by 101,325 and we will get uh, that our we have the initial pressure is is 202,650 pascals and the same thing for the final pressure it's at 1.5 atmospheres and when we multiply that by our conversion unit we get that the final pressure is 151,989 pascals and then for our initial volume we have uh, 0 0.3 liters so when we we have to multiply that by 0 0.001 uh, cubic meter per liter and we get that the initial volume is 0 0.0003 cubic meters and the final volume is, uh, is, is gives us 0 0.8 liters and so we can have 0 0.0008 cubic meters the last thing it gives us we don't have to do any conversion it gives us uh, it gives us the internal energy U in its initial state is uh, 82 joules of internal energy and in its final state it has 168 joules of internal energy. And so now that we have everything ex explicated and, and put into terms that are useful we can, we can calculate the area under the PV diagram and so for I, A, F, like we said, I is, is completely vertical, so there's nothing under it until we get to point A. And so we can say the, the height times the width, which is the final pressure times the change of volume. The final pressure is 151,989 pascals, and the change of volume would be the final minus the initial, so 0 0.0008 minus 0 0.0003, is 0 0.0005. So if we take 151,989 and multiply that by 0 0.0005, what you'll get is a positive 75.9945. Now, uh, one thing to make clear is that the work that the that the system does on the environment is equal to the positive uh, area under the PV diagram. The work done on the gas is the negative of the area under the PV diagram. So if P times V equals this, then the negative of that, negative 75.9945. 
Next, it asks us for the, air, for the uh, path of IBF. And so the area under IBF that is, so from B to F, the pressure drops, but um, basically there's nothing under uh, B to F that isn't already, there's nothing in between here that isn't already under B. And so it's going to be the initial pressure times the change of volume to give us this entire area under IBF. We said that the initial pressure, the initial pressure is equal to uh, 202,650 pascals and the change in volume we had decided was 0 0.0005 cubic meters. That's a three. And so again, the work done on the system is equal to the neg or negative 1 times P times change of V in this situation. And so work is equal to the negative P change of V. If you multiply these two numbers together, you'll get 101.325 pascals. And of course, it's a, the negative of that number is the work done on the system. And then the last thing it asks is from I to F. So the area for under I to F includes all of this down to the bottom, over, and then all the way back up. And so what we can do is we can calculate um, the change of pressure, the change of volume, and ha multiply that together and divide it by 2. So that's base times height divided by 2 is the area under this triangle. And then we can take the final pressure times the change of volume and we can get this section and we can add the two together and so the area under the PV diagram is equal to the change in pressure times the change in volume divided by two plus the final pressure times the change in volume well if you remember P final was equal to and so the the one thing we want I want to point out is that when I say the change in pressure this was the final pressure and this is the initial if I subtract that then I'm going to get a negative number but the height of this triangle is not a negative height it is not going uh, there's no such thing as a negative height unless something's going below the x-axis this is a positive height and so you actually have to do the absolute value of the change of pressure and so the final pressure was 151,989 pascals, and the initial pressure is equal to 202,650 pascals. And so the, the difference in these, if we just subtract them and take the absolute value, so delta P, the absolute value of that, is equal to 5,000 uh, or actually 50,661 pascals. And the change of volume is still 0 0.0005 cubic meters. And so now we can plug everything in. We could, we could take 50,661 uh, times, times 0 0.0005 divided by 2 plus uh, the, the final pressure, 151,989 times the change in volume, 0 0.0005. And that will give us that the, the negative of the work, the negative of the work is equal to 88.6 uh, We'll just say 659. So the negative work is 88.659, so the work is equal to negative 88.659. So the last thing it asks us is it wants us to calculate the energy transferred by heat for each of those situations, both IAF, uh, IBF, IBF, and IF. So calculate Q for each of these situations. Well, we have to use the first law of thermodynamics, so the, the change of internal energy is equal to the heat transferred by energy plus the work done on the system. And so what I'll do is I'll set up a little graph. So I got the work done, and I've got the change of internal energy. 
and I, I can set this up and I can say well under IAF I, I had decided that my work was negative 75.995 and and the change of energy it tells us that the energy started at 82 and it ended at 168 joules and so the change of internal energy for each case is going to be 86 joules and so I can I can set these up my second case I um, IBF and IBF so IBF I got negative uh, 101.3 0.325 and again this was 86 joules and that's just stated in the problem it tells us the final inter internal energy it tells us the initial internal energy and it's saying that it, it was the case in each of these examples and then so finally IF the work that I got out of that was was uh, negative 80 negative 88 point six five nine point six five and again the change in internal energy was eighty six joules so I want to solve my first law of thermodynamics I want to solve it for Q so I would say I would subtract my W over to the other side and I would say that Q is equal to the change of internal energy minus the work done on the system well, you can see that if I minus the work done, it's going to end up adding it, adding a number because my works are all negative. And so what this is telling me is that I didn't do any work on the system. I did work on the environment. So it would seem to be that heat is going into the system so that it can do work on the environment. And so I expect all of my Q values to be positive numbers. And so I would just say 86 plus... 75.995 86 plus 101.325 and then 86 plus 88.65 and the answer for each of those is 161 point we'll say 160 we'll just round it to 162 162 and then for IBF it was 187.3 187.3 and then for IF it was 174 174.67 and of course I'm not adding directly here I'm actually using the numbers that I calculated for uh, the problem when I did it